Okay, here we are again, June 20th, 2022. Seems like I am becoming, where well, I'm living either under this hood or underneath this thing on my back here lately. But this time we're gonna be replacing the radiator, water pump, power steering pump, of course the radiator hoses, thermostat, and anything else looks like might cause us trouble before we head out, when we head out again. So uh, we were going to get started on it right now. Okay, our objective has changed a little bit. This radiator looks very good. It's all aluminum. It's got plastic sides. It says no sign of being... Of course, that doesn't mean anything, I know. It's made in Canada. Anything we get now, I'm sure, is going to be made in China. I'm going to leave this radiator in. If it goes bad, it won't be that difficult to change on the road. So, we're still going after the water pump and the power steering pump. So far, we have used a... 10 millimeter deep well, a 10 millimeter short, 10 millimeter open end and close and box in wrench to loosen the bolts on the fan pulley. We've used a screwdriver and a large adjustable wrench to loosen the fan nut and remove the fan. Um, used a flathead screwdriver. And I guess that's about it so far. So we're going to get uh, do, uh, undo those water hoses and um, start taking that water pump off. I don't think we're going to have to take those brackets off. I hope not, but if we do, we do. Uh, we can take, go ahead and get that fan off. And I think we can get to the hoses and everything once we get... We may have to pull that pulley off, I mean that um, freewheeling pulley. But I'm not sure to get that other hose loose and back on. We'll see. Now we're going to use a 3 8 drive ratchet to loosen this uh, serpentine belt. And you can do this even if it's... Uh, even if you don't have all this stuff off. But let me get it up further okay we're going to remove that pulley now take these bolts out take this off and we're going to start taking these water hoses off and uh, see if we can get that water pump off and get the surfaces cleaned up and then we'll start on that power steering pump figuring out how to get it off Okay, we used a 14 millimeter deep well, medium extension with a 3 8 drive ratchet to remove the four water pump bolts, all of them the same size. We've removed the uh, hose clamps. Now, I'm sure the water pump's stuck on there. We're going to get it off, then maybe work those water. We may see if we can get those hoses off or wait until we get the pump off. I'm not sure yet. That, I think it was just those four bolts. That's all there used to be. We'll get that off, then we'll turn our attention to the uh, power steering pump. I'm pretty sure I'm going to order a water pump from Chevrolet. I just want to, I'd rather have an AC Delco unless I can get an AC Delco from one of these parts places. Now to set the puller up, you got a little plug that you put in the end. You line it up with that shaft, the shaft that's on the uh, power steering pump. You get the clamps around the
around this lip right here on the pulley. You have both of them together. You have that like that. Slide this over it. Then you hold this one and you tighten that one and it'll pull that puller off. It's going to be just about the reverse going back on. This power steering pump is a little different from a Jeep power steering pump. You can get the pulley off after you remove the uh, pump on the Jeeps. But this one, you've got three bolts that are beneath that uh, pulley. You can't get to them until you get the pulley off. So, get the puller, pull the pulley off. Now we can take those bolts off and maybe one or two at the back, get those clamps, get them undone, get this uh, power steering pump off. I'm going to call a Chevrolet. Um, this pump's lasted almost 300,000 miles. The first water pump lasted 100,000, so I'm going, to, I'm going to go back with AC Delco. We are draining the fluid out of that power steering pump now. Something I found very interesting. I consider this up here the reservoir. X, you know, mounted remote reservoir. A Rayman power steering pump is, I think, 60 something dollars. The new one is 217. It says it comes with the reservoir. Well, this is considered the reservoir. The power steering pump has an O ring that holds that in. This unit is $217 from Napa. And if you don't, if you just get to reband, evidently you've got to take this pump out of this housing, what I would call a housing, not a reservoir, and replace it, and you've got the O-ring in there. But that seems awful crazy to me. But that's what we're doing so far. We've got a new Napa water pump, $59. AC Delco was $342. My discount, it was still $260. I just don't see how in the world AC Delco could be $200 more valuable or better than a new Napa. I don't even know who the, if there's a different manufacturer. AC Delco may not do anything but rebox, buy from a manufacturer and rebox. I don't know. But we're going to hopefully get this power steering pump and water pump on today. Okay, we've removed that squeeze pump, pulled that hose off. That hose goes to the <clears throat> power steering fluid cooler underneath the radiator. So we've pulled that off. We're letting all of it drain out. We've got the hose um, unscrewed from the bottom. We're about to pull it out. It's a three quarters. And then we're going to start on these bolts here. They look like a 13 or either a half inch. And it looks like it may have two nuts on the back, but I'm not sure what's going on with those yet. We're about to take those three bolts holding the power steering pump there off. And that bracket back there, I think, uh, undo it and I think that power steering pump will come out of that uh, mountain bracket. That's what I'm hoping. We are now ready for the pulley. Um, the support bracket on the back, those are 9 sixteenths. I got those tightened up. These three here on the front, they all went in very easily. I was able to run them up to almost tight with my finger, so I know that's got it lined up um, the way it should. Didn't have to force anything or strip a bolt. So uh, we'll, line, we'll, get, we'll pull that pulley on. Um, got all the hoses connected. The high pressure line is tight, so we will uh, put that pulley on now, 
and maybe proceed to the water pump. But that may be it for today once we get that pulley on. I'm not sure yet. Okay, we have threaded the pin into the power steering pump um, shaft and we've installed the, the uh, puller or installer. Got the thrush washer, then the bearing, then the nut, and we're using that half inch and also this to tighten it up, pull it on, uh, lubricated it with some synthetic oil the shaft and the pulley and we will know when it is lined up just right we won't have to guess because when this lines up across both pulleys it will be flush and the belt will be in line we'd be probably good to look and see it too but I checked that yesterday before I pulled it off and once we get it pulled up to there and it's flush across those two pulleys we are done except for adding power steering fluid Power steering pump's on. The gasket's been sitting up for the water pump, so we're about to move over here and put that water pump on. Okay, we put some Permatex sealer on the gaskets on one side, just the water pump side, put it on, lined them up with the bolt holes, with the bolts, let it sit a couple of hours, and then we went on and put the water pump on. We tightened the bolts down alternately and evenly to make sure they're all even and tight. Went on and installed the uh, water hoses, and got built tight, tightened them down and got them tight. So now we are ready to put the bottom radiator hose on and the fan on. And I think before I go any further, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and uh, put some water in the radiator, crank it up, put some water, um, power steering fluid in the power steering pump, make sure neither one of them are leaking before I go any further. Won't let it get hot, but I will let it run and see, and check for leaks before I put it all back together. Okay, we have now reinstalled the uh, fan pulley, 10 millimeter, four bolts, got those tight, we're about to screw the fan back on. Then we're going to put the serpentine belt on, put some water, power steering fluid in this thing, and crank it up. Okay, we've got everything hooked back up. Put some power steering fluid in initially. About to put some radiator fluid or some um, Dex Cool antifreeze in. Serpentine belt is back on, fans back on, attach your radiator hoses. I didn't show some, a bunch of that because that's just rudimentary stuff. I'm gonna pour this Dex Cool in and see, uh, see if there are any visible leaks before I crank it up. And then I may put this shroud back on it and crank it up and back it out. And, Finish filling it up. See, see if there are any leaks anywhere. Hopefully, this will have this project taken care of. Wednesday, the 22nd of June, 2022, about 6:15 in the evening, and we have finally completed this project. Hopefully, nothing will leak. We re replaced the water pump, power steering pump, and we just have changed the oil and filter. So we've gotten everything tightened up. We have a gallon of uh, Dex Cool in and a, about half a gallon of distilled water. 
We're gonna crank it up and see if there's any, see if there are any leaks. Check the power steering, see if there are any leaks in it. Hopefully not. And if so, that will conclude the project. May conclude the project anyway, because if there are leaks, I'm not gonna <laughs> continue this. This hadn't been too bad because I've been able to, I've taken my time, I've walked away from it when I get tired of messing with it and come back to it, so. Hopefully everything is done right and doesn't leak, so here we go. Well, when we first cranked it up, <clears throat> power steering hose uh, was leaking at the power at the high pressure line on the power steering pump. I got down there and tightened it up, but it didn't do any good. And a new O-ring came with it, and it said to use, use the new O-ring. But that hose was a brand new hose with a brand new O-ring on it. So... Um, I figured it should be good, but evidently it got boogered up in the process. So I changed the O-ring and now let's crank it up and see what it does now. Water's not leaking. I'm going to uh, check that it's got operating, it's at operating temperature. I'm going to check and see if it's swallowed. It'll take any more water. All the gauges look fine. Everything's fine. There's nothing leaking anywhere that I can see. So, um, this should wrap it up. Like I say, I'm going to make sure this swallowed and got enough water in that freeze. Make sure that the O-ring doesn't start leaking again. Make sure the power steering's got enough fluid. Check the oil again, and we will wrap this wrap this project up.